What's up there, YouTube? Section 333 here. I am smoking some Hobbit's weed that I got from Wall Dog Piper. Uh, a little care package he sent over. We did a little tobacco trade. He went a little crazy, sent some cigars and like four different blends. And then he also sent this, which is a pocket pipe, which is actually ideally suited. Like if you have a vest pocket, it's actually ideally suited for that. So it curves over like that. It is a, and I actually meant to be smoking this when uh, the video started, but I just want to show you, it's actually a very significant bowl. So here's the tamper. So, mm, not bad. You know, surprisingly a large bowl. Uh, I actually have full size pipes that have smaller bowls in this. This is about the same size as the bowl in my, uh, I want to say the Peterson Dracula pipe, in all honesty. Uh, smokes cool. It stays cool in the hand the whole time you're smoking it, I have to admit that. And uh, very nice little pipe. Very uh, neat little, almost a gadgety style pipe. But it piqued my curiosity you know, I, I do want to take care of some housekeeping, though. All right. This is the uh, Cornell and Deal Carolina Gent, this pipe. And uh, this is a pipe that was made from Missouri Meerschaum by uh, for Cornell and Deal. And uh, it's a short poker. This is the same bowl you would get on the Country Gentleman. Uh, but this is the Carolina Gent. So it's a short poker style pipe. I am smoking Hobbit's weed in it, which I got from, like I said before. From Law Dog Piper. Uh, out in California there. And had a beautiful, actually had a very cool week. Uh, worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, drove from New York to Pittsburgh on Thursday for a uh, Bob Seger concert, whom I haven't, I've never seen live before, but it's one of those things, Bob Seger's like one of those guys, you listen to his songs and then while you listen, wow, you know, Bob Seger has a lot of great songs, so his final tour I figured you know what he didn't have any tour dates in New York uh, at the time when the uh, tour listed so I said you know what let's drive to Pennsylvania and see him you know my mother's from Pittsburgh originally so it was actually kind of a cool trip didn't take mom with me went with a couple of co-workers um, my wife could not get the time off Last week was our wedding anniversary, and uh, so we couldn't celebrate or anything last week um, because of work conflicts, things like that. So what we did was uh, we actually went out last night. So Friday, I drive back from Pittsburgh. Um, and today's Sunday, and of course the wife works, she was working late, um, and then, uh, Saturday, had a great day, washed cars, things like that, got everything waxed up and polished during the daytime, went to the gym, Some, it's, sometimes it's just so nice to have a little time off, right, and do some things. Um, Saturday night, we drove into New York City to a very nice restaurant. I had been there, I think, once or twice before. I don't think my wife had been there before. 
Um, we had a great time. Actually saw Clancy Brown, who's like one of my favorite actors. He was at the table next to us. And uh, lo and behold, we were talking about Bob Seger. I said, let me check my phone in. He added dates, August 30th, or October 30th. Madison Square Garden, New York City. So, I said, boop, boop, boop. Happy anniversary, my dear. We're going to see Bob Seger on the 30th. So, I'm going to go see him again. My wife is going to see him for the first time. Um, it's weird. We went to see the Rolling Stones um, in August. And then she went to see John Fogarty about a week later with her sister. And uh, she's really enjoying concerts now. She used to not like to go to concerts, but now she's enjoying it. You know, sometimes you just have to do something, and then you wind up having a good time anyway. So that's why you always have to be open to, to new things and to do things. I'm going to get a haircut later today because this is a mop, a very gray mop. I'll keep it gray, though. <laughs> But this Carolina Gin is actually a great pipe. I also got the uh, the straight version of this pipe. So this is the uh, Emerald by uh, Missouri Meerschaum. And this is the uh, straight version of that. And uh, like that too. I haven't smoked it yet. Uh, I might just give it to a friend. Who knows? Um, now, these Missouri Meerschaums are actually more than the general Missouri Meerschaum. Uh, they do have nicer bits. Uh, they're in the $20 range. Um, the Hobbit's Weed is identical to the original Hobbit's Weed by Tewksbury. Identical. Yeah. Long live Hobbit's Weed. Flavor and uh, rum note is identical. really is. Tin note is identical. Wow, very nice. Big planes. This is a great tobacco, though. It's not bitey at all. And uh, has, a, like I said, beautiful room note. And uh, it's one of the few tobaccos that, if I so chose to, my wife would not mind if I smoked it in the house. She has said that to me in the past. And then, so, pocket pipes. I started thinking about pocket pipes. That's what made me get this, actually, because this was, I always figured that the closest thing I ever had to a pocket pipe was these, like, short pokers. And, but this is truly a compact pipe and truly an impressive feat because it's a significant size bowl. It doesn't get hot in hand. It's nice and thick here on the sides. So you don't get, as you're holding it here, all of the heat that's here, it's not burning your fingers to death. And it smokes very, it smokes great. It's a great pipe. So I said, you know what? What kind of other examples of pocket pipes do we have out there? And then I saw that Big Ben carries pocket pipes so I said let's check these out you know so this is the uh, this is the red polish one and uh, it comes with you know you know Big Ben puts the big catalog in here and all of this stuff and, yeah. and uh, the anatomy of a pipe and all of that it's actually a little interesting, the stuff that you can read in that. Um, 
it's not so much a catalog of all the pipes that they carry. Like Savinelli puts out a thing of all the pipes that they carry. Comes in a nice sock. This wasn't pricey by any means. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but uh, I can tell you it wasn't much. Uh, I want to say in that thirty to fifty dollar range, maybe, maybe fifty. All right. So this one is a red polished one, and uh, and it's a beautiful pipe, really, truly is. Uh, very significant bowl. This is actually bigger than the bowl on my uh, Peterson's uh, Dracula pipe. And uh, for a long time, actually I have it here. This was my pocket pipe because it was a small bowl. And then I got that small, uh, I got that Drew Estates pipe, which is a small pipe. I also had, um, it was like that little tankard. I wish I had it here. I should have set up this whole thing with like different versions of pocket pipes. Um, so this is a, a full-size bowl. I haven't smoked it yet. Um, you know, the determining factors are going to be how hot does it get in the hand. You know, things like that. Um, it's got thick walls though, so it, it may not get hot at all. Red color is a little flashy for me, but hey, it is what it is, right? Um, so that was that was one of them, and then I picked up another one. This one I'm actually giving to a friend. He's a retired police officer, so I give him this one. Yeah. This one here is like a matte blue, and uh, I got a friend that'll smoke this one. He's he's getting into pipe smoking and stuff. Uh, it's a big bend pipe, you know. It's a beautiful pipe, and uh, like I said deep bowl. So they came in different finishes, things like that. So I checked a few of them out, just just to see what they were, you know, what the deal was. Um, I have a suge pipe that is a small pipe that I also use for, uh, as a pocket pipe. And then I have those, uh, Missouri Meerschaums, those little tiny Missouri Meerschaums. They're like a novelty pipe almost. But if you're testing a tobacco, uh, that little suge I have is actually a good pipe for that. As well as the little tiny, um... Missouri Meerschaum pipes. So these are small pipes. They're functional. They work great. Uh, I have two of them, those two little Missouri Meerschaum. And they almost look like toy pipes for a kid. But uh, they're actually functional pipes and they smoke fine. And if, like I said, if you're sampling a smaller tobacco or something or you just want to try a tobacco for the first time, it's a great pipe to sample those types of tobaccos in. You know, you get, you're able to pack a full bowl, and it's still only a small amount of tobacco. And uh, so I do use those from occasion, uh, on occasion. But when I got this, when Law Dog sent me this, this was just such a ideal version of a pocket pipe. So if you had a vest pocket, you could put it in the top of your vest pocket. Yeah. If you have that little pocket on your jeans, it's really for like your pocket watch. You could slip that in there, you know, and it was just ideal. And then, like I said, you have a fully functional pipe, you know, you can clean it the whole night. So, yeah, wanted to check that out and uh, continue to. Uh, So, but I wanted to see what other options were out there for portable piping or lunting. Um, and lunting is the act of walking while smoking a pipe. Uh, if you didn't know, most of you probably do know. But 
there are the occasional person who watches his channel who wouldn't know that. Um, oh. I love how I can send myself that in and out of focus with that. <laughs> Drinking the uh, actually, it's funny. I'm drinking Odin Force Blend in the Odin Force Blend cup today. Something I almost never do. But uh, this is a great tobacco and these great little pipes, uh, so you can take your hobby with you when you go. Cause uh, the other thing too is like if you're walking around New York City or something. You, know, you may not want your full-size pipe in your pocket. And they don't lend themselves to portability, some of the larger pipes out there. Like, this is not something you would want in your pocket. You know, it's, look at the size of this compared to that. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But you could put this in your pocket. Yeah. Even this was awfully large to be putting into your pocket. Yeah. If you compare this... To this yeah completely different so that's why you do that I guess so I totally understand the portability of these pocket sized pipes check out the Hobbit's weed and uh, who's making it sold by Old Oak Cigar Shop I don't know if it's uh, if they sell on the internet but uh, they certainly have it out in California uh, Check out the smaller pipes so you can go lunting and uh, enjoy. All right, wife's home, and uh, I'm gonna have a quick lunch with her and then head off to the gym myself. You guys be good, enjoy your weekend, stay safe. Section 333 out.